After you've jacked up your vehicle and have it supported safely by jack stands, there is a total of 10 bolts all around the back of the differential plate. I'm using a half inch, but a 13 uh, will also work. I find the half inch fits a lot easier on mine. And um, just in case if it starts leaking, you're going to want to have a pen of some kind to catch the oil. After removing these bolts here and having the top ones only loose, you can now use your flathead screwdriver and just start gradually prying the back plate off. Now you do not want to gouge the differential. After letting this drain for a while, you can now start opening this a bit more. Once the oil starts draining to a drip, you can now start beginning to take off the top bolts holding the differential. Now, with the remaining bolts out, you can just use your hands, just slowly begin to take off the differential cover. This gasket scraper is not doing what I was hoping it would do, so I'm just going to use just a regular razor. It's coming off so much easier. After getting off what you can of the old remnants of the gasket, I don't think it's absolutely necessary to take off every single little piece. You just need to take off the majority of it and make sure that it's nice and flat. After making sure that the differential cover is clean, you can now start taking off what is left on top of the differential. I like using a razor blade. But if you guys are uncomfortable using it, you know, they have special gasket scrapers at um, any auto parts store. Right now, I'm just kind of wiping out whatever's left of the differential fluid. Now, with your silicone gasket maker, you're going to want to apply a nice bead around every single hole behind the differential cover, just like so. Okay, it, look, it should look something like this. Now, carefully putting it back into place, you want to start putting the bolts back in, only using your fingers, of course. Next, you just want to go around every bolt, tightening them only finger tight. Now, you want to follow the instructions on your gasket maker. It will tell you the amount of time that you need to wait. Okay, after waiting for the recommended amount of time, you're going to want to now tighten down these bolts in a cross pattern to the torque specifications. For this particular vehicle, it's going to be 30 foot-pounds in America. Okay, 
you. Once you have it all tightened, I like to go around again one more time and just to recheck all of them. Finally, after waiting about, I would say about three or four hours at least, after tightening up these bolts to torque specs, I am now going to start adding the required fluids. The first thing I'm going to be adding is going to be a friction modifier. <clears throat> it is a limited slip differential additive. Even though the oils I have already have the limited slip additive added to it, it is still not enough. It is still not enough for what's required for this type of differential. Okay? Because there is already um, some limited slip additives in the oil, I am only going to use about maybe half of this. Now, I am now going to start adding the gear oil, 70, 75 weight, 140. Full synthetic is the only fluids that I ever use and you just simply keep adding fluid until it starts to leak out of this hole just a little bit. Now after adding the appropriate amount of fluid of course you want to reinstall your filler cap test drive it and recheck it for leaks and add more friction modifier the limited slip differential additive as needed if your differential is slipping 